In this section, we're going to be looking at algebra problems that involve the NCR function. So NCR, there are a few different notations for it. This is the formula, and you're given this in the formula booklet, and you need to be able to use it. Okay. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to simplify each of these into an algebraic expression okay, without any factorials being involved. So let's just take a look at the first one, n, c, n minus 1. Okay, so the whole idea is that we're just going to replace the n with n, so that's not going to change, and the n minus 1 is going to become the r, and that's the same in the formula. So what we would have is n factorial, so the n's stay as they are, the r's are becoming n minus 1's, so n minus 1 factorial times n take away r, which is n minus 1 factorial. Now we want to simplify this, so we've got the n factorial over n minus 1 factorial. Then in here we've got n take away n, which is 0, take away minus 1, which is 1, so we'd have 1 factorial. Now 1 factorial is just 1, so we can not have to worry about that. So all we've got is actually n factorial over n minus 1 factorial. Now in simplifying this, what we need to recognise is that n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3, etc., all the way down to 1. So n factorial is the same as n times... Now, what is that, n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 all the way down to 1? Well, that's just n minus 1 factorial. So in much the same way, you could say that this is n times n minus 1 times, well, what would the next term be? n minus 2 all the way down. So it'd be n minus 2 factorial. So there are different ways of writing n factorial as expressions of other factorials. And this can be really useful. So n factorial being n times n minus 1, etc., all the way down to 1, is n times n minus 1 factorial. And we can notice that we've actually got n minus 1 factorial in the numerator and denominator, and so they can cancel. So I'm just going to be left with n. So the first one is just n. OK, so let's take a look at the next one. So part b, n choose 3. So the n stays as it is in the formula, the r is becoming 3. So we would have n factorial over 3 factorial, n minus 3 factorial. So uh, 3 factorial is just 6. 3 times 2 times 1. OK, now in much the same way, OK, if we extend this even further, we can see that n n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 factorial is the same as n factorial. So we can write the numerator as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. And then you've got six lots of n minus 3 factorial in the denominator. So the n minus 3 factorials can cancel, and I'm left with just one sixth of n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. And that is simplified. OK, let's look at another one. So C here is n choose n minus 3. So the n stays the same in the formula. The n minus 3 is going to replace the r. So we'll have n factorial over r factorial, so n minus 3 factorial, times by n take away n take away 3 factorial. So we've got the n factorial in the numerator. We've got the n minus 3 factorial in the denominator. n take away n is 0. Take away minus 3 is plus 3. So we've got 3 factorial, which is just times by 6. Now this should be now very similar to what we had in part b. Because in the numerator, we've got n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. 
over 6 n take away 3 factorial. So those two terms go, and I'm left with precisely the same thing as my answer for b. And the reason for that is because of the symmetry of Pascal's triangle. We are three steps in on this side and three steps in on the other side. OK, so it should be unsurprising that actually these two would be the same. OK, so D, we've got N plus 1, N minus 1. So the N is replaced with N plus 1 in the formula. The R is replaced with N minus 1. Now, this also occurs here. So the N here is replaced with N plus 1. And you're taking away r, so taking away n minus 1. So you've got to be a little bit careful with that. It's very easy to forget that you're replacing that n as well. So in the numerator, we've got n plus 1 factorial. In the denominator, we've got the n minus 1 factorial. We've got n take away n, and then 1 take away minus 1. So 2 factorial, which is just 2, in the denominator. Now, in much the same way as we were dealing with here, n plus 1 factorial is n plus 1 times n times by n minus 1 times by dot, 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 all the way down to 1. And in the denominator, we've got two lots of n minus 1 factorial, which is n minus 1 times dot, 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 dot times 1. So actually... This bit and this bit are precisely the same, will cancel. So we could just have written that, OK? And that's exactly the same thing. It's the same deal with what we're doing here. So the n minus ones, uh, n minus 1 factorials cancel, and I'm left with 1 half of n times n plus 1. OK? And that is that one. That's D. OK, let's have a look at E. So n take away 2, uh, C3. So the n is replaced with n minus 2. The r is replaced with 3. The n is replaced with n minus 2, remember. So n take away 2 and n take away 3 factorial. So we've actually got n take away 2 factorial over. Now, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. And we've got n take away 5 factorial in the denominator. So actually, we've got n take away 2 times n take away 3 times n take away 4 times n take away 5 factorial in the numerator. And 6 lots of n take away 5 factorial in the denominator. The n take away 5 factorials can cancel, and I'll be left with 1 sixth of n take away 2, n take away 3, n take away 4. And that's my expression for E. Now, F, we've got 2n, choose 2. So I'm going to write 2n in a bracket factorial. OK, because uh, it's easier to take, keep track of what you're doing if, that's, if you've got it in the bracket. Um, so then um, we've got uh, the R is 2, haven't we? So that's 2 factorial. And then we've got N take away R, which is 2N take away 2 factorial. So replacing the N with 2N and replacing the R with 2. So we've got 2n factorial in the numerator, and we've got 2 lots of 2n take away 2 factorial in the denominator. Now 2n factorial is 2n times by 2n take away 1 times by 2n take away 2 times 2n take away 3 times 2n take away 4, etc., all the way down to 1. So that's 2n take away 2 factorial there, over 2, 2n take away 2 factorial. So the 2n take away 2 factorials can cancel, and I can also divide through by 2, leaving me with just n times 2n minus 1. 
Okay, so that's F. Right, G. So N is being replaced with 3N minus 1. R is being replaced with 2. So 3N minus 1 factorial over 2 factorial. Then 3N take away 1 take away 2 factorial. So we've got 3n take away 1 factorial in the numerator times over 2 times 3n take away 3 factorial in the denominator. Now the 3n minus 1 factorial is 3n minus 1 times 3n minus 2 times 3n minus 3 times 3n minus 4, etc, 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 all the way down to 1. So I could just write it like that over the 2 3n minus 3 factorial. The 3 and minus 3 factorials cancel. And so I'm going to be left with 1 half times 3n minus 1 times 3n minus 2. OK. Right, last one then. So last one, uh, we've got 5n plus 4, choose 5n plus 2. So the n is being replaced with 5n plus 4. The r is being replaced with 5n plus 2. So we're going to get 5n plus 4, take away 5n plus 2 inside the factorial there. So 5n plus 4 factorial in the numerator, 5n plus 2 factorial there. And we've got 5n take away 5n, that's gone. 4 take away 2 is 2, so 2 factorial is just 2. So in the numerator, we've got 5n plus 4 times 5n plus 3 plus 5n plus 2, etc, 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 all the way down to 1 over 2 5n plus 2 factorial. The 5n plus 2 factorials can cancel, and I'm going to be left with 1 half of 5n plus, well, I'll put it as 5n plus oh, 4, 5n plus 3, and that'll be fine. I was going to put them the other way around, but there's no reason to. OK, and so that is how we can simplify each of these using the NCR formula, which is given to you in the formula booklet.